here making them real rover. This one is different to what I build. It's actually printed on SLS printers. Um, it's sent to me from a professor in New Zealand called the Oddbots. What I've done is I've just taken off the top and replaced the control circuitry with a uh, text instruments launch pad, as you can see here. It's all breadboarded together with a little breadboard at the back, a little uh, PCB adapter and a Wii nunchuck wireless adapter. So let's give it a go. Turn the nunchuck on. Should be a little blinkety blue light. There we go. Press it. It's now synced. I've made a control such that you press C to start. And off we go. Oops, I've got the rotate the wrong way. Rotate. Yep, I've got the rotate the wrong way. That's fine. That's very easy to fix. Let's just focus on that. Forward. Back. Left. Oops, slipping on that gap. Right. So let's take a look what's inside. So basically it's just a launch pad. Um, I've actually connected two wires to the test point tie points one and three here to power the uh, launch pad from the batteries. That's using the onboard regulator. Oops. <laughs> Inside it is just a six pack of batteries. As well as a breadboard with a number of jumper wires, an adapter board, and a Wii Nunchuck adapter, as we said before, nothing else. So the server is around $3.40 each. Um, that makes for around $12 worth of servos. And the wheels are printed, of course. That's four thirty. That's probably a dollar. And the Wii Nunchuck is around $11. So the whole thing adds up to probably something like $30. It's not too bad as a beginner's robotics platform. Um, there's still a few number of pins free, probably four or five, um, to put sensors and what's going on. Mm, just not too bad. Let's end the video.